I thought, by the way, Michael, and you, you're a, a Brady uh, chronicler uh, in books and print and radio and so much uh, for all the years of you being in uh, Boston. Um, I thought that was one of the most relatable Brady moments, if not the most relatable Brady moment of him having to be uh, shown out of the event yesterday. <laughs> oh, exactly. How many times have you seen that? Have you seen that guy? How many times have you been that guy where people just have to hold you up? And just the look on his face, I mean, that was uh, that, that was something I've never seen from Tom Brady. I'll say that I was going to say I haven't seen that many, many times. I've never seen it from him. Uh, you may you may remember this. Years ago, he was uh, – Brady went with the Patriots, was telling the, the Patriots fans, hey, get excited for this game. It's a big game. Get lubed up. Get ready to drink for a home game. And it was just like a throwaway line. And – Rich, let me tell you, within 20 minutes, Patriots PR had a statement out saying, well, Tom Brady was not advocating that people drink. He was talking about water. Seriously, I, I'm not, you can't make this stuff up. So his, he was so buttoned up. He was so corporate, so Patriot, so let's do it the right way. We don't want to say the wrong thing. I was just happy to see him in that moment where he was just being real. He was happy. And I don't think it was, you know, some people ask me, is this a shot at Bill Belichick? Not necessarily. I just think it's a guy who knows he's 43 years old. He's going to be 44 in August. And I know we're used to seeing him, seeing him in Super Bowls. He may not get back there again. Well, that's true. And, you know, look, it's, it's also the difference of, you know, a, a, a you know, very patrician organization up in uh, New England, you know, where it's a different, you know, there's no, you know, usual Florida man, you know, type stuff. It's a different, it's a whole, di- you know, it's it's a kind of a just a different ball of wax and a different scenario and, and you know and, and it was fun about Brady, you know, uh, you know needing to have some help out of there, but he's not incapacitated enough where he can't know like there's going to be a bunch of people out there and I think he's just uh, I, I loved it, you know, I, I just love the whole concept that you know of so many athletes that you certainly in the NFL you think everything is scripted, it's all it's all just put out there as one big package. And uh, I I love it, you know, like other, well, other sports you. should be envious of, of moments like this. And I know the trophy itself, I mean, we're seeing him flip the trophy around. You know, the NFL made a specific choice, um, you know, years ago um, about the trophy to make it more accessible to fans that they thought it was way too stuffy, you know, that they wanted it. They, they would love for the trophy to have a, a bit of a Stanley Cup feel to it. And um, I don't think the NFL has a problem with this thing being flipped from boat to boat either. Quite honestly, I mean, last year, uh, Travis Kelsey was doing shots down down the side of it. You know, like I, 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 he was shotgunning beers down like a, you know, like a beer shoot, you know, down his throat. And I, I, don't, I, 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 I think it's all good, despite what many uh, some some might actually think about it. I think you know. most people look at it as as the fun that it is. I mean, you said Travis Kelsey doing the shots. And then you remember Gronk one year put a dent in it. <laughs> yeah, it at Fenway dented. Park. At Fenway Park, as Edelman was yeah. just flipping a baseball at it, and he used it to bunt it. I mean, yeah. and the Patriots, if I'm not <laughs> mistaken, is we we can also let it, they let things kind of roll too. Don't they have it displayed with the dent still? Right? They do. That's it. It's it's a dented Lombardi. That's an authentic. I love it. Thing. It's an authentic article, and I just think with Brady, I think your Michigan man, Rich just got to the point in the entire year, uh, 2020 into 2021, I just don't care. I don't care. I'm going to do what I want to do. And that started with, if you remember, one of his first official press conference uh, with Tampa, the first official unofficial press conference was on the Howard Stern show. He did a long interview with Howard Stern. Two hours. An hour, hour and a half. Yeah. They kept getting cut off on Zoom. And they finally just did it old school. And and Howard said during that interview, hey, I've been, I was trying to get you to come on while you were with the Patriots, and now you're finally on. And it took him 20 years. He's been a longtime fan of Howard Stern. It took him 20 years to get onto the show, and he just talked, and he never would have done that with the Patriots. So I think it's just a culmination of, of many years of wanting to have fun and uh, going against his uh, instincts and saying, hey, it's better to be restrained and do it the Patriot way. Good for him. Hey, you watched all the way to the end. Thanks for that. Watch more right here.